everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I am gonna be showing you my at-home self-tanning routine. It has been probably like four, maybe five years, probably closer to five years, since I have filmed one of these, and I have seen it requested for so long, I just never got around to filming it. So today, I wanted to sit down and film for you guys. This will probably be the last video that I'm filming in my room, in my beauty room in this house, which is so crazy. I'm moving one week from today and I'm super excited about it. It's been really crazy just trying to pack everything up and you know just prepare myself for this big move. So I really am excited to film this video for you guys today. I'm going to show you my full routine in action as well as just talk about the product that I've been loving and all of that good stuff. If there's anything in this video that I don't cover and you have questions about, feel free to comment below and I will do my best to answer. All of the questions that you guys have so if you guys want to see my at-home self tanning routine then please keep watching so as you can see right now I look nice and tan I filmed the first part of the video obviously before this I waited two hours and then I washed it off and this is the beautiful tan that I have it looks like I just came back from the Bahamas but I've been recently using this product I would say for about three or four months now and it has completely blown away any other product in my personal opinion. One thing that I always had problems with when I was doing self tans at home was I would always have like that orangey, um, like that orangey look in my knuckles and like all around my hands, like all, especially like right over here and here. And no matter what I would do, like I just wasn't able to do it. So I just figured, you know, self tanning at home, obviously it's never gonna be perfect. So I just kind of dealt with it and I would just kind of scrub my knuckles off after I would apply the tanner. But with this new product, I swear, not only is it the most amazing color, it's super olive and green undertone, which is nice. You're not going to get any orange whatsoever. It also does not affect my skin in that way. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to show you guys my full routine in a minute. But quickly, I just want to talk about the products that I've been using that I really love, and then we will get into the demo. So, the product that I have been using as of lately is the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Tanning Lotion. I'm the type of person where when I have a self tanner at home, some of them require like six, seven hours before you can wash them, and I have pretty sensitive skin, so... I think it might be all in my head, but I just love to keep it on or use a product that isn't a six or seven hour um, time difference from when you apply it to when you can wash it. So when I found the One Hour Express, I was like, okay, well that's amazing, let me try it. And as I mentioned on the back of the bottle, depending on how dark of a color you want, you can leave it on. For instance, 30 minutes will give you like a light medium tan, one hour will give you a dark tan, and two to three hours will give you the darkest tan. So I left mine on a little over two hours, and this is what I am working with. So I think for me, since I am pretty light without it, uh, the two hour time frame is perfect for me, but if you guys are just trying it out and you wanna test it, you can try it for an hour, and then if you feel you want it a little bit darker next time, you can do it for the two hours. Um, also, I have been using the Bondi Sands Mitt, of course. I love this mitt because it's really soft and I feel like it applies a lot better than some of the other ones that are like more foamy. Um, I've tried a bunch of different mitts and I just find that these really soft ones help apply the tan really easy. So a good mitt is always important. And since I am living alone now and I have no one to tan my back, the other product that has literally saved my life is the back applicator mitt. So it has one side that's a little bit larger that has that same fabric as the mitt. And then it also has like more of like a sponge side that's gonna have a little bit more, it almost feels like it's exfoliating a little bit. But what I've noticed is that when you apply it with this large side, it's a lot easier to blend it if you are using this tool. So you just kind of like put it on your back and you look in the mirror obviously and you can kind of go from there. But one thing that I always had issues with was like that one center part of my back would always be white because no matter how many ways I was trying to apply it, I couldn't get it perfect. And obviously if you have a friend or someone living with you, you can just have them use the mitt and it's gonna be perfect. But if you are solo and living alone and you don't have anyone to help you, this product I highly, highly recommend. I have been using it for the past couple of months and it's really helped me a lot. One other product I wanted to talk about quickly before we get into the demo is the Bondi Sands Self Tan Eraser. So if you are the type of person that likes to self tan like every week 
and you want to get like some of that excess tan off before you start a new one and before you exfoliate, this self tan eraser works really, really well. You want to apply it at least three days after you have used your self tanner. So what you want to do is you want to apply it wherever you're trying to remove that tan and you want it to sit on your skin for about five minutes and then you can jump in the shower and with warm water you can just slowly like massage it off of you. If you feel that some areas are a little bit difficult to get off, you can also use an exfoliating mitt. I personally never really use an exfoliating mitt. Um, I mention it in my demo, but my skin is pretty soft most of the time. Like I don't really have dry skin on my body. Sometimes my face will get a little bit dry, but um, if you guys find that you have drier skin, I would definitely recommend using either the exfoliating glove or just some sort of product with an exfoliator in it. That way you can remove any dead skin and your tan will go on a lot easier. So those are just some of the tips that have worked for me and what I find work the best. Now I'm going to get into my routine, you'll see like the before and after, it's honestly so cool and I really love self tanning because as much as I love the real sun and I love a real tan, um, as I've gotten older, I notice that when I do lay out in the sun, I do get dark spots on my face. Oh, hey Vin, you come to say hi? Hi everyone, I need a tan, I'm super white. Hi little baby. I swear he's the best, the best boy in the world, right? right? Hi. So if you guys want to see how I self tan at home, please keep watching. And I'm ready for my tan. My face is so pasty right now. So I have my mitt, these are super important, and then I have the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Self Tanner. So they do have a regular version where you leave it on for like six to seven hours, which you can use as well. Sometimes I do use that, but I'm kind of like the person where I like things done quick. So this is really nice, the One Hour Express. The last time that I did it, I did leave it on for closer to two hours. That's usually like a good time for me. So I'm gonna start tanning myself. And I know usually people wear bathing suits in their tanning videos, but I don't want to ruin my bathing suits. And I never tan with a bathing suit on, so we'll keep this as PG as possible. So you just want to shake it, and it's like a really nice foam consistency. So it comes out like that. I swear it looks like, like whipped cream. And you're just going to do circular motions. And now this is my mirror as well. I'm not standing in front of a mirror, so I'm going to use my viewfinder because I'm using a different camera with a viewfinder for this reason. So I'm going to do like one arm so you guys can see like the difference, but I love this product. It smells like coconuts, which is so nice. It smells so delicious, and the color that it comes out at, it almost has like a little bit of like a green undertone, which is nice because you're not going to look orange whatsoever. So when you do apply this, if you have to run out and do errands, whatever, like you're not going to look crazy. Um, I've tried literally every single brand on the market, and this one is by far my favorite. Um, I always will apply it on my arm, my, like all over my arm first, and then whatever's like left over on the mitt, when it's like almost dry, I'll go and I'll do my hands. A bunch of other products that I used, I always had to do like lotion. I had to put lotion like on my knuckles and stuff like that, because it would always leave like a weird... Um, like color, but with this one I've never had that problem, so again, if you guys have drier skin, I would recommend putting lotion on like your knuckles, on your elbows, your knees, anywhere that you find that self tanner usually will stick to. You can see the difference. And it'll gradually get darker, but it's such a perfect olive color, which I absolutely love. So what I like to do for my face is same thing kind of with what I do with my hands. I'm gonna do another like pump for my arms, but when the product is almost off the mitt, I will apply it on my face. Some products that I've used aren't safe for your face, but I've never had any like breakouts or anything from this product using it on my face. So again, use your judgment. You guys know your skin better than I do. Sometimes if I don't have enough on my brush, I'll put a little bit on here and then just kind of like rub it in so it's not like a big blob. And then I'll apply it. Just want to make sure you're doing like the back of your neck. So here you can see the huge difference already. I'm like pink. My legs are like pink here. 
So that's just with one leg done. So now I have this product here, which is literally a lifesaver because usually when I'm self tanning, I'm alone. You have a buddy, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend, or someone that can help you. It's always easier, but they have this tool that is made to reach your back. So you just kind of go like this and you'll blend it all in. So I just like to apply right onto the puff and just start rubbing it in. And obviously when you're in front of a mirror, it's easier, but this tool like literally saves lives because now you can get your back tan. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my tan and I will see you guys in a minute. So as I mentioned earlier, I left my tan on for a little over two hours, washed it off, and this is what I'm left with. So I'm so happy with the results as always. I was really excited to talk about the Bondi Sands products with you guys today because I have been self tanning for I don't even know like 10 years now and I have tried every single brand on the market and the reason I really hadn't filmed a video before this in about four years four or five years was because I loved the products but I was always kind of like eh, like I didn't like how my hands would turn orange and like certain parts that I didn't really love but ever since using this product I swear I have like a newfound love and appreciation for at home self tanning so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and until next time I'll see you guys later